did you know that it is possible for your child, and in fact any child, to score 300 and above in their UTME? All they need is the right tutoring package, which I will introduce you to today. But first, let's answer this question. The ratio of carriers to seekers in the F1 generation derived from a parental cross of two carriers of hemoglobin S gene is A. 3 is to 1 B. 1 is to 3 C. 2 is to 1 and D. 1 is to 2 Now the hemoglobin gene is present in the red blood cells and is what we usually refer to as the blood groups or blood types. We know that we have the AA the AS and the SS. Now, the AA are normal healthy people with normal hemoglobin gene in their red blood cells. For the AS, they are also normal and healthy, but they carry the S gene. Although they are healthy, they can transmit this hemoglobin S gene to their offspring. And then we have the SS. The SS have the hemoglobin S gene, usually referred to as C-class, although they always fall sick, they are referred to as C-class because of the shape of their red blood cell, which is shaped as a sickle. So these are referred to as C-class. And those that just carry the gene but are healthy but can transmit it to their offspring are known as carriers. Now for my question, we are supposed to do a cross between two carriers of hemoglobin S in the F1 generation. Means we are going to do just one cross with two carriers. So we are going to have one AS and the second AS. Now we do our cross. A, A, we have A, A. A, S, we have A, S. S with A, we have AS, and S with S, we have SS. Our question asks for the ratio of carriers to seekers. This carriers AS. From our cross, we have two carriers, one, two. This is two. And we have just one seeker, which is one. So our answer is C, two is one. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want access to over 600 solved and simplified DTME questions that have been compiled topic by topic by myself and other amazing tutors,